Hello, Edge here with the ViewSonic G Tablet. Uh, sorry for the uh, reflection. I tried to uh, mitigate how much reflection there is of me in the screen right there by closing the shades here in my office, but uh, it's kind of a sunny day outside, so it's hard to do. Anyway, what I want to do today is kind of go through some of the file explorers that uh, that are available. I've got three of them installed, so I just want to go through them and kind of show some of the things that they do because I see some questions on the xda-developers.com forums where people are asking these things. First one I'm going to go to is the ES File Explorer. It's the one that was included or is included in the TNT Lite builds by Robeat and a file explorer that I really like for a few reasons. First of all, it's pretty. Um, I guess whoever develops ES File Explorer has uh, different backgrounds that they put on there and, and are able to somehow push those and um, right now it's Santa Claus, so it's cute. But what I really like is the size of the icons. Um, navigation is uh, pretty easy. Um, gets a file list whenever you go into a folder, so it's not, um, you know, it's not instantaneous. But you know, it is what it is. Um, icons show up nicely. Um, he's got his own icons made for for different uh, standard files in there, which is nice. But one of the things I really like about it is up here. You've got these buttons at the top, which are really useful. Now you notice there's a home button, which puts you to the uh, the root. And if I click it again, now it shows the SD card, and this is what's on the SD card. So I'll go back to home again, and now you notice here's SD card two. This is a external SD card that I have installed on here, a two gig card, and you see that it it showed up and and everything comes up here just fine. If I go to music, I've got some music on here. Um, and I want to play it. So it just comes up just fine. Um, so completely usable. Now one of the little things that took me a while to find, and I didn't know about this until I saw somebody else post about it, was up here at the top. And it's kind of hard to see on the video here, but it says local with a little down arrow. If you uh, are careful, and can get that to open up. You get change view, local, LAN, FTP, and Bluetooth. This is sweet. You can go to LAN, if I use the right part of my finger. I play bass guitar and I have this callus on my fingers, so a lot of times when I'm touching the screen and I use the callus, apparently it's not enough for the capacitive screen to, uh, to register. Anyway, notice here I have Tonito plug. This is a little server and I've shown this on one of my other videos before that I've got running right there. That's a Tonito plug. And it's connected to that one terabyte drive externally right there. It's a really neat device. Um, I'll give Tonito a plug because I really like this device. Um, it's, a, it's, it's basically a $99 server. It's got three connections on it. USB, um, RJ45 for network, and your power. Power um, connects up with this really tiny little uh, power supply that looks like the power supply from like the EPC, the 700 series, or uh, or maybe even like a cell phone plug. So very tiny. Apparently uses uh, three watts of power. Um, I think they they estimate that your average power use per month will be around 35 to 50 cents, depending on where you live. Uh, you can attach a USB hub to this thing, and it can power more than just one drive. I've actually had up to five drives working on this thing with no problem. It does run um, Ubuntu Linux, and um, it, they've got their own UI and everything set up. Um, it's on Tonido, T-O-N-I-D-O dot com. Really awesome device that uh, uh, allows you to share files, pictures, music, and other stuff. And so what I've got here is I'm connecting through a uh, SMB uh, share. And as you can see, I've got a whole bunch of different folders here, like music. You know, I can go to music here. I've got all my different music files. And so the cool part is, is this is going through the network wirelessly. And uh, we'll go to something in this folder. I don't even know what I'm looking for. Okay, now the reason it's taking some time is the Tenido, the, the USB drive, and I don't know if you could actually hear that, but the USB drive shuts down to save power when it's not in use. And so when I just made the request for the, this folder, it literally had to spool the, the drive back up before it could show me what's there. So, all right, let's look at something in this folder. What have we got? Um, I don't even know. 
So that's streaming right now from that Tenedo server through the SMB share. So um, that's one way to get to it now in terms of looking at um, there's other media we could look at on here like uh, pictures. Uh, we'll look at some old family pictures. So there's uh, me and my grandparents and my sister back in 73. And as you can see, I'm able to use the little forward and back navigation buttons, me and my, my sister and my parents. Me and my sister. Aww. So anyway, um, this is ES File Explorer. And yeah, so going through in ES File Explorer at the different uh, folders on my Tenedo server works really well. Now if I wanted to, if I wanted to... Let me see here. I think it's. I can multi select files if I wanted to, which is neat. If I hold the mouse down, I can cut, copy, delete, select all, or look at properties. So I wanted to copy them, right? So I've selected a copy. I go, I'll go back over here to local. And we'll go to. DCIM, which is where I store pictures. And if I select now on the, the bottom of the screen here, I can take these and I can paste all. There. There they are. And now I've just pasted those three pictures onto my device from an SMB share using ES File Explorer. That is super cool. Now, um, I haven't played with the Bluetooth because, I mean, I do have Bluetooth. I just haven't paired it and done all that stuff with it yet. I'm not a huge Bluetooth user. I know some of you are. I have read reviews about how this works with Bluetooth, and apparently it works exactly the same as what I just did, connecting it to that SMB share to my Tenedo plug. So, um, ES File Explorer is free on the marketplace. Let's take a look at another, another one, which uh, is the one that came with... Uh, the the vegan tab 1.00 beta 3 which is iFile manager now a little bit different look here this is more to me a more traditional view um, that kind of reminds me of back in the old days when uh, you would type dir or uh, ls in uh, unix or linux so you've got your list of all your folders here and to go through them, you know, you're literally, now you notice it's a little bit faster. IS seems to be a little faster than ES does, but um, what they're showing here for all these APKs, it shows that default little uh, Linux guy, whereas in ES, File Explorer, um, he actually pulls up, or that that actually pulls up the, um, the icon that is embedded within those APKs, probably why it takes a little bit of time for it to load up, to, to load up all those images. So I'm assuming that the more stuff you have in there, the, the longer it'll take. Now, this takes you directly to the SD card. This takes you to root. So pretty quick. Um, SD card 1, SD card 2 right here. So SD card 2, same thing. We're able to get to it without any problems. Uh, we can go to video. It, doesn't list anything in video. If we go to uh, music, there we go. We'll go to the same um, as we looked at before. This time we'll play a different song. Yep. So it works just the same uh, in regards to accessing your files from from the uh, File Explorer. Just a little different look. Um, if you want to copy, paste, rename, delete, or even send via Bluetooth, all you do is you just hold down on the file and uh, it brings up this context menu. So really pretty nice. Um, in terms of being able to look at LAN, this, this doesn't do that. Um, let's see if there's any option. Nope. No, no options if you hit the menu. So this is a really nice explorer for looking at files directly on your device. Um, doesn't support Bluetooth, doesn't support the uh, the network or LAN, and uh, doesn't support the FTP like ES File Explorer does. 
but uh, but it does what it does very well. Now the third one I want to go through very quickly, as I've only got a couple minutes, is to go through Root Explorer. This is a um, an app that um, you can download a trial for or you can purchase it. I personally have purchased it because I use it a lot. What this allows you to do, the reason why Root Explorer is such a big deal is because of this button right here, the Mount RW. So what this allows you to do is to go into, uh, for example, we're going to System and the Build Prop file. If we want to make any changes to it, we can mount this the system folder, Mount Read Write, and then, and I'll do that right now, that's that's how easy it is. You touch that that little button there and it does it. And you press down and now by scrolling down here we can open in text editor. And now I can go through and edit whatever I need to in the build prop. Now the reason this is a big deal is if you want to change for example um, what your device shows up as in the marketplace this is where you do it. So right now I see where this one's showing up as a Harmony, which is what this device is considered. This is, uh, the G tablet is a Harmony as far as, uh, um, as far as the market's concerned. If you want to change this to the Samsung G tablet, or Galaxy tab, to be able to get um, some tablet applications that are developed specifically for that, for example, TV.com, this is where you would change that. So, um, Root Explorer is definitely the way to go. Now, there are other ways to uh, to edit the build.prop file using ADB, where you can do a uh, do ADB um, uh, shell commands from a uh, from a from a command prompt on your computer if you're connected via USB. A lot of people have had tr uh, problems with getting um, the SDK and and all that to work with their G tablets connected to their computer because of the driver issues. And so if you don't want to go through all that, Root Explorer is the way to go. It makes it a lot easier for you. Be aware, however, that with Root Explorer, you can do some really serious damage to your system. And uh, that can include um, rendering your system worthless in, in the sense that you have to reinstall with Clockwork Mod. Fortunately, with Clockwork Mod, um, these G tablets are almost bulletproof in the sense that even if you really hork up your your uh, install, you can go back very easily and very quickly uh, change things back. So anyway, those are the uh, the three um, explorer or file explorers I wanted to go through, just so that some folks can get a sense of what's the difference between them and why they would maybe want to use one or the other. I hope this video helped. If if it did, uh, you know, give me a thumbs up or a comment or something or say hi. I like to see them. And uh, everyone have a great day. Edge out.